my past and everything to get all out there. And Anthony Aguilar just keeps freaking. It's just constant barrage. Like all my videos are like, I'm so tired of freaking people saying I'm not the victim and I'm not the victim. I never fucking said it was the victim. I never said it was the victim. I never fucking once said it was the victim. And I'm sick and tired of being called a fucking rapist. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired of all of this. So I'm done! I'm fucking done! Fuck you! I hate you all! Who are attacking me constantly! I just wanted to make people happy and shit! I just wanted to leave! I just wanted to leave my fucking room! And I was in for years! And I finally did! And you fucking won't leave me alone! Oh! I'm tired of it! I'm tired of it! You win. You fucking win! Okay? I raped absolutely no one! I am not a fucking pedophile! But you fucking win, okay? I'll fucking go! I'll go! You f Did yeah. you hear about yeah. the new person that just came out? Performance major. Here's 19 seconds. I put it out. It got 200 views. The the. F oh, it that's real cringe, dude. What? Oh, you heard it? I am the biggest erotic role player out there. <laughs> Fuck. To hear that, I'm like, I don't like where you're going. With oh no, please stop talking. God be willing. By the time I record this, I'll be feeling better. But as of right now, I feel like total garbage. I guess that answers its own question. That said, the core components of this video should be pretty good. Yesterday I had a discussion with a member of KP's staff that took about 40 minutes or so, and I also had a conversation with Corp and Brony, probably about half that time. And to tell you this, Corp didn't bite his lip or shake his head and go, no, uh whenever I tried to tell him something. At the moment, God be willing, I may come to regret this, I did pass along today's information to him in advance. Corby Lombroni isn't just some rival outsider, but he's been someone that I've bumped heads with. Hopefully we can put that aside to help protect members of the community from sexual predators. And this, friends, is where you're going to want to turn down your music. This is where you're going to want to put down your gaming controller. Maybe I don't want to be too pushy, because this is really important. I mean, if you're in a raid, I'll understand, pause, and come back. Now, Performance Major has taken down his channel, for those of you guys who are just tuning in now for the first time. Performance Major is the brony who, there was a video that leaked where he copped to erotic role-playing with minors. There was something from his comments section I wish I had, which would have opened up some eyes. It would have pulled back some covers. Now, if you're in the audience saying, now, if you're in the audience going, FNGR isn't that convenient that you don't have that screenshot. Well, here's the good news. Why Performance Major can take down his channel and all his social media, actually his YouTube channel is back up again. Well, kiddo, you can do that, but you can't take down everyone else and everything else. Let's read this off, shall we? Oh, dear God, no. Here is the thing. Most of this was dealt with before FNGR shit. In private. We scolded him over this shit a month ago. Everyone is beating a dead horse at this point. He dropped the ERP with minors. The only other thing he can do is apologize. This was dealt with a month ago. It might be early when you're watching this video. Maybe you're sick, or the music is still up, or your game is still going. That's fine. I'll work with you. After all, this is important. A month ago, a series of people in the fandom knew about a pedophile. Does this remind you of the Toon Critic situation at all? Minus having Vita on hand to leak that shit as soon as possible. I'm not beating up the anonymous individual who gave me the tape. But I really need to hammer the point home, guys. No matter how competent your circle of friends are, it doesn't matter how smart you think that the help that you're getting is. In a situation where there is someone with predatorial actions, it's never a good idea to try and keep it out of the public's eye. 
And keep in mind, it only takes one of your friends to do the right thing. Actually, from what I've heard, there were four other people who wanted to get this information along to me. No, I don't have their names, but thank you. There was a lot of people in the voice acting community in important spots in the community who are very visible, who came to say their piece. I understand maybe I wasn't the first place you wanted to say it at, but you were all very polite and your feedback was appreciated. Which he has been planning to do. No one needed to get further involved. That's not really your call, true Sailor Comet. I think the brony community at large is entitled to know what you know at this point. Oh dear God. Here is the thing. Most of this was dealt with before the FNGR shit. In private. We scolded him over this shit a month ago. Everyone is beating a dead horse at this point. He dropped the ERP with miners. The only thing we can do is apologize. Actually, the Anon who told me about this story said that Performance Manger wasn't living up to promises made. And no one other than the people accused have any further right to an explanation. I am sick of this explanation of shit. That's fascinating. A true sailor comment on Twitter... I think there will be a lot of people who disagree with you. I noticed that you blocked me without contacting me. And yes, I understand perhaps I'm not your ideal platform to talk to. I felt I was more than fair, me and my friends, when we had a talk with Performance Major. That video was up on Fan and Frenzy. Links down below. But even still, might I suggest reaching out to Vito? That's assuming he wants to talk to you. Or maybe you could make a statement with all your voice actors who wish to take your side. Or hell, uh, if you really disagree, you can go talk to that glass of water individual. They might bail you out just out of spite. I mean, it never hurts to ask. Let's, let's get back to thanking people, now that we're done talking about comment. I'd like to thank Ashley H. Again, thank you for your transparency. I trust that you spread the word to everyone who didn't already know. I was honestly waiting for someone to pick up on this. Don't get me wrong, I've met PM at BronyCon last year, and he seemed like a very nice guy. That being said, when I heard his video for the first time, it rubbed me the wrong way. I believe the lack of information and naive nature to the situation was where this video was coming from. Not that I agree with any way, shape, or form to the content and words used, as he definitely in the wrong here. I'm glad this isn't being swept under the rug, though as this ideology and thinking can be very dangerous, if not confronted. Also, about him deleting his channel and chats, this isn't the first time it seems to be whenever a disagreement of any kind of drama includes him, he shuts down for a while, but eventually comes back. I made a response to this, to which then Ashley responded. Dear Ashley, I think I recall you from the Anon K. Peelings drama, where... Yours was the first video, I could swear. At one point, you had me on Skype. And why I do appreciate your support, here, if there was a problem before, perhaps I'm misunderstanding, the sooner this matter could have been brought to the public, the better. I do appreciate the heads up, and yes, I will keep my eyes open for him. If you have someone else like this, please, I implore you, to share that with me as soon as possible. Again, I'd like to give a big up to Ashley as Performance Major has taken down his channel and put it back up on more than two times, I think, since this whole matter has begun, and I will continue to keep my eye on it. Continuing to Ashley's last post, hey, yeah, that was me, and my words still stand to a degree in that video, but I really had no idea what this whole side of the fandom was like until a bit earlier. Call it my naivete, but I now know things are much deeper than I could have imagined after watching quite a few of your videos. On the PM subject, that video was the first time I heard anything regarding RPing or anything with a minor. I don't know him that well to be able to confirm anything. It's just, when that video came out publicly, it rubbed me the wrong way. If I had known about the situation beforehand, I would have 100% said something. I'm not one to sugarcoat 
lie, or sweep things under the rug. If someone is in the wrong, that being said, I will keep my eye out as well. Again, thank you, Ashley. Oh, and speaking of people spreading the word, big up to Secret Dreamer, who asked for me just for the confession. I believe she was hit somewhat hard by this revelation. Despite Secret Dreamer being all heart, she didn't hesitate to do the right thing. Secret Dreamer isn't just the most connected person among her fellow voice actors, but clearly the nicest. And I can't thank you enough for pushing me to give you the info early. After all, you never know what could have happened in one day, or one week, or one month. Not to name drop anyone, but if you can think of anyone who waited a week or a month or longer, comment down below. Now for Magpie. Magpie's reading. The level of ignorance on Performance Major's part is mind-boggling. Defending Toon by saying it it's not wrong because I did it too, is probably the worst defense I've ever seen. There is a reason we as a fandom rose up against this person to protect any and all hurt or could have hurt. I have no personal ties to Tune in this situation, but I still offered my advice to the analysts. Made a video on lost extras to help the victims, something that was severely lacking on the analyst side of things, and made my message known this is not and will never be okay. I will defend the young fans till my dying breath and cannot advocate victim blaming in any sense. Shame on those who acknowledged his actions and dismissed him and dismissed them. Shame on those who point their fingers at the victims he harmed. Whether or not my advice to certain people will be heeded is unknown, but I sincerely doubt it will be. We as fandom creators, analysts or not, have a responsibility to be more morally upstanding than others. We are looking up to our actions, speak for more than just ourselves. And if we truly deserve that level of respect, that we damn well better use it to aid others. Magpie, you are a magnificent human being. I want you to run this show if I ever quit. I'd tell everyone in the audience to go subscribe to her and maybe watch at least three of her videos, but chances are you already have. Links down below nonetheless. As well as a special thanks to Webcake, who contacted me directly, and I listed off some of the people in the fandom that she should keep an eye out for. Now, Webcake is super cool. Her DMs and PMs are sadly going to stay private, but without going in anything she said, I did mention someone that I thought relevant to bring up now. Moreover, the person who has never come forward about that individual in question. Keyblade Pony, rebranded Keyblade Smasher, has shown an unhealthy fixation on younger girls like Glitzy Glam and Mint Heart. Now, if you're in the audience and you're looking at me right now, FNGR, are you still on about old shit? Again, despite him having 500 subscribers and he only gets about a generous, let's say, 100 average views, that's a bit too much for my liking with someone with his tastes in a fandom that encourages younger fans. Now, if you 100% only care about quote-unquote hashtag horse famous people, which shame on you if you do, Keyblade ERP'd with minors, and he was at arm's length with Ink Rose, not to mention all the other kids floating around at BronyCon. You don't have to take my word for it, because Vita, Pastel, and British Ninja, who now supposedly is one of the people who works on Dr. Wolf's Team Fortress Anarchy Project, can tell you about Keyblade. And British Ninja has done so on his channel, which kind of gets me to my next point. The room where Keyblade literally obsessed about Glitzy Glam, and yes, there's a reading of this link down below, was in a Sweetie Bloom support chat. I know this because when push came to shove, this was where I cut ties with Sweetie Bloom. Remember when Josh Scorcher said that they were waiting for the right time to make the information public? This is a good place as any to date back how long this has been kept quiet. At least two years ago, this was before the Mint Heart incident. The man is still going to conventions. Uh... It is an Apple Bloom plushie. Again, Apple Bloom is, of course, my favorite crusader. She's adorable. 
Uh, again, I spent way more than I'm willing to admit. I'm super happy. I love Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I love Mad Munchkin. She's a wonderful person. I, I, I... Of course you do. Anyways, Sweetie Bloom knows about Keyblade's compensity towards younger fans. She's known about it for two years. She's on Dr. Wolf's Team Fortress Anarchy staff. I don't see why they couldn't have made a public warning. There seems to be literally no reason why this was never made public. But you know what? I'll make you a deal, Wolf. Maybe you didn't know. It's possible. Go ask Sweetie Bloom to make a public statement. Hell, I'll take a journal post. I could read it off myself. Remember the petition I dropped my support for? Because... It was with my understanding in the future, you would be more transparent in the future. Wolf, you can talk with British Ninja on this matter, if you can stomach listening to someone else other than yourself. There's someone with predatorial behavior with minors, and there are members of Dr. Wolf's crew who never came forward about this to the public. This isn't in dispute. When I got into a verbal slap fight with the second opinion from the Rift Cafe, he wanted to drive the point home. Keyblade wasn't in the Rift Cafe. If anything he said about them was false, I apologize for drawing attention to it, but I do know that Keyblade's thing with Spirited Rainbow was pretty much true. Think about that for a second. What he must have had to have done to get thrown out of that hellhole. Oh, and before we leave, I want to end on this side note. This is a response from Foolery in response to Performance Majors interview that we had sounds like the same old song and dance he tried to give me three years ago when we broke up he won't change and here are two tweets from foolery as well this isn't a surprise i dumped his ass long ago because he was creeping on a minor birds of a feather and all and here's foolery's second tweet nope the birds of a feather comment was directed at him defending tune pm and me dated about three years ago I guess shame on me for not speaking up about it when I had the chance. But I was an even bigger nobody back then than I am now. A quick aside to anyone in the audience, I don't care about your level of fame if you have a serious accusation about someone that could be somewhat at least minorly substantiated. Perhaps it can lead to being able to protect people in the future. Please, again, comment down below or try and find a way to contact me via Twitter or DeviantArt personal message. Thank you. I am a little disturbed by the I already knew this part. I'm asking fans, instead of saying I already knew and mentioning after the fact, could you maybe either tap me or someone else on the shoulder, prominent, who will get the information out so everyone else can be lit on it. It's kind of important and dangerous to cover up matters like this. And it's sad that even after this, that I can still instruct people that if they need help and assistance, that their best choices right now are me and Vita, judging by Dr. Wolf's record here. No, seriously, I want to ask how many people have gone to Wolf for help in situations like these and probably didn't get any help. I don't have to like you to help you, and you shouldn't need to like or even respect me. I understand that someone else should be handling this than the people who already are. But as you can see, there are few people willing to step up to the bar on this one. And one more thing about the KP thing. Since a member of the staff was nice enough to clarify what she meant, that being KP, I don't like it. I certainly have a lot more things to say about it, but I figured, oh hell, I'll give her a little bit more time. Maybe I'm just getting soft. A little bit more time to explain hashtag me too and how it's applicable to you. And this isn't a grab to bring back views. That's some way, somehow, that you were as unfortunate as those girls who had to deal with Toon Critic. Verse whatever you're alleging. I'm looking forward to that. And don't worry, this won't help one bit. Oh, hey, Maddie. Next time.